Hey you, today I'm sharing a haul from Mango, Amazon, and Nordstrom. I'm really excited about this haul because so many of these pieces can work really well in the spring too. I love finding pieces I can wear in more than one season. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss upcoming hauls and let's get started. So this first top is definitely going to be a Valentine's Day outfit for me, just keeping it casual. For my husband and me, Valentine's Day comes right after both of our birthdays, so we're kind of exhausted all of our gift ideas anyway. So Valentine's Day is pretty casual and I love this love t-shirt. It's super simple, it has a lot of great neutral colors in it. It's gonna pair really great with blazers, with black jeans and light jeans as we start to get into the warmer months. I didn't know this when I bought it, but it does have some blue rhinestones on her dress right here, which normally had I known that, I might not have chose this t-shirt, but actually it is very subdued. You can barely tell unless you're really close to it. So if that's something you're a little bit iffy on, I wouldn't let it get in the way of you getting this top. It was super inexpensive. I would definitely say it runs true to size and the white on this top is a slight off-white So it goes really well with both white and cream and with this kind of taupe background here that wall that she's standing on that makes it so easy to pair with gray as well as beige. So I've been seeing this trend pop up more and more. I've been reading about it. I see it here and there, and it is a statement collar blouse. I really love this one. They technically call it a beige. I would call it an off-white, but it is a super billowy, loose, lightweight fabric, very breathable, and thin enough that it's really easy to fit under coats and jackets and things while it's cooler right now. I really like this detailing right here. You can definitely lean into the more femininity of this top and pair it with like a floral skirt or with a pink bag or you can really edge it up and pair it with some edgier pieces. I love how versatile it is if you style it that way. So don't think that this is too feminine if you aren't into all the florals and frills. It also has these smocked wrists. You know, I was a little bit concerned that maybe during shipping this collar would get messed up somehow, but everything I received in this haul was packaged so well. I was really impressed. I think this is the third or fourth time I've ever ordered from Mango and my only critique of them is how long their shipping can be. Well, it's not really the shipping, it's actually the processing time between from when it actually ships. But honestly, if you haven't tried Mango before and you love H&M, I would say Mango is very much like H&M but a half step above. So definitely recommend trying it if you haven't already and I really love this top. So I also got the blazer I'm wearing from Mango. I got this blazer to replace this one that I got from H&M years ago. I really love this blazer because it is knit and it is super casual. I get so many compliments on it, but it's starting to look a little less structured. It's just kind of starting to show its age. And I thought this one was a really nice replacement. It's definitely a step up. You can definitely dress it up like it's lined and it feels like a real blazer, but it's also comfortable enough and casual enough in my opinion that you can easily dress it down as well. I'm normally a size four and everything to this point has been fitting true to size, but online I did put in like my measurements and it recommended me getting a size six in this one. And if you want to be able to close it very comfortably, then a six is the right option, but it is a touch oversized. The shoulders are like just a touch big, but being a little bit oversized definitely plays better into that more casual look that I'm hoping to use it for. I also picked up this long sleeve beige striped t-shirt. I have a feeling I'm going to be wearing this a lot in the spring just because of the color. I cannot even begin to describe, like it looks like it's showing well on camera, but the, this is just such a versatile beige color. It looks really good with light jeans, but it still works really well with dark jeans. It's a long sleeve, but still really lightweight and soft. My only critique for this is that it's a teeny bit clingy, which had I known I might've sized up to a medium, but like at the same time, I don't even think I care just because I love the style so much. This is just one of those neutral must haves you need for the spring. Just, I just, I can't get enough of it. I'm obsessed. Moving on to my haul from Amazon. First, I have this corduroy shirt jacket, otherwise known as a shacket. I really like this piece, but I really don't think I like this color. It was advertised as gray. It's definitely more of a blue gray, which wasn't the gray I was hoping to get. So I think I'm going to exchange it for this brown corduroy color, but I think it's like super back ordered. I need to check. Anyway, I know some people size up when buying shirt jackets so they get that nice oversized look. I personally think that my true size is already oversized enough in this jacket. So I got my true size, which is a small, and I think it's just oversized enough to get the idea across. Anything too big, I think just is 
too overwhelming. But that's just my personal opinion. It does come in a lot of other colors if you're not liking this color or if you want to see the other ones. And then another thing I really liked about this particular one versus other ones that I've seen when it comes to shackets is the buttons. I liked that the buttons were a bit smaller. It looked a little bit more like a shirt than maybe a jacket. I don't like the shackets that have just like the huge buttons like it's a coat. I definitely like the more shirt than jacket style if you know what I mean. Next up also from Amazon is this velvet button up shirt. This came in a few other colors, fit true to size. I really liked the button up shirt of this with the velvet. I love velvet, velvet blazers, velvet coats. I've been kind of obsessed with it and just keeping myself from buying blazers and that sort of thing for the most part, just because I haven't been wearing them a whole lot. But this seemed like the perfect solution to get my velvet fix as well as something that's super practical. I really love this because it is thick and heavy enough to kind of keep you going through the winter months and these next few cooler months. But it's also still really breathable and on the inside, very cool, enough so that it can support you through the spring. It also just so happens I am obsessed with black and medium to light blue denim together. So now that we're starting to get into the spring, and into lighter wash jeans. I am kind of gravitating towards some of my black winter pieces to pair with them. So this is just a really great piece. It also looks really great for work. And then from Nordstrom, I got this initial necklace, which yes, has been backwards this whole time. It comes with this gold chain and it's a toggle clasp here in the front. So it's really easy to get on and off. That has been one of the things I've really loved about it. It's just super easy, throw it on. I do sometimes accidentally unclasp it. Like if I'm playing with it or fidgeting with it, it'll just suddenly kind of unclasp and you just clasp it back together. It's really not too big of a deal. The initial is in kind of like a twisted rope style. So there's just a lot of interesting features with this necklace. I've gotten a ton of compliments on it already and I've only had it, I think, a week. So that's everything that's been new in my closet over the last couple of weeks. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe before you go. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.